Hey friends, it's Mrs. Fox here. I miss you. Mwah! Give yourselves a big hug from me. I have wanted to talk to you and this is the best way for us to do it right now. And I am excited to bring you a little lesson from my favorite book, the Bible. How about we sing our Bible song? Want to? Okay, stand up. Make sure that if your brothers and sisters are around, or your mom and dad, that you sing nice and loud with me. Because you know I'm not the best singer in the world, so sing over me, all right? Here we go. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, Bible! Good job, guys! The Bible is full of wisdom from God for us and how to live. And you know, right now is kind of a tricky time. Like we can't be together at school and I do miss you. And I've been praying for you. There've been several things I've asked God to help you with. And one of those things is called the fruit of the spirit. Jesus tells us in his word that if we believe in him, and ask him to be the Lord. That's the leader, the boss of our lives. Because we believe in him, then he comes inside of us and he gives us his Holy Spirit that grows in us as we grow in our faith. And I've told you before, the way we grow in our faith is we read our Bible and we pray. Remember our song? Read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. Well, that's how this fruit grows inside of us. And the way you know you have that fruit is it comes out in different ways. It comes out in love and joy and peace and patience. And that's what I've been praying the most for all of you right now. Now, patience just means waiting with a happy heart. That you wait for the things that you want. That you wait in line with a happy heart. That you wait for maybe dinner. Or you wait for... Oh, well, hi, Burley. you in here talking and I wondered who you were talking to because nobody's here but me and you. Who is out there? Well, Burley, these are my chapel friends. These are my preschool friends from First Foundations and we can't be together and so I'm sending them this little video talking about the Bible, my favorite book. Oh, I know it's your favorite book, Mrs. Fox. You talk about it all the time, and I see you reading it. And your friends know about the Bible? Yes, they know about the Bible, Burley. They hear me teach them about the Bible, their teachers, and their moms and dads sometimes. So I'm telling them right now about the fruit that God gives us and helps grow in our lives when we love him and we obey him. I was telling them about patience, waiting with a happy heart. Mm, I'm having trouble right now with that one. You are? Yes. Well, how come, Burley? What happened? Well, I have to kind of tell you something that I did. I saw you on your computer the other day, and I was so curious that I had to look after you left, and I saw that you ordered me a toy. I was so excited. That truck I've been wanting, you got it for me. You're so sweet. 
Oh, Burley, were you supposed to look at my computer without me? Well, we'll talk about that in another time. But you're right, I ordered you a toy because you have been so good. And I just thought it'd be fun to get a new little something in the mail. Well, I'm having trouble waiting. Amazon is supposed to be fast and it's not here yet. I keep going to the door and looking and every time I hear the doorbell ring, ding dong, I run and I look. But no, no package yet. Where is that Amazon man? I'm getting mad. Oh, wow. Well, Burley, this is a good lesson for you because patience is what you need. So let me tell you some of the verses that are in the Bible about patience. Some of these are wonderful and will be helping you so much. All of them are wonderful. How about in Proverbs? God tells us in Proverbs 15 verse 18 that we should have patience and the one who is patient doesn't cause a quarrel, like doesn't fight and argue. And if that Amazon man gets later and later, you might want to have an argument with him and say, where were you? Well, God doesn't want you to do that. And then in, in Proverbs 15 verse 1, listen to this, a gentle answer turns away anger, but a harsh word stirs it up. So we don't want to stir up anger. We want to be patient. Now, I taught you this verse a while ago, Burley, and it's in Ephesians 4, 2 in the Bible. Do you remember it? Hmm. Hmm. Let me try. I don't know. You may have to get me started, Mrs. Fox. I'll be happy to get you started, Burley. It says, be completely, that means all the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient. There's that word, patient. Putting up with each other in love. Oh, that's right, Burley. We are to be completely humble. That means don't think of yourself as more important. And then be gentle, just like that Proverbs verb, verse said. Don't stir up anger and a quarrel and a fight. Be gentle and be patient. Patience is waiting with a happy heart. You're waiting, but you're trusting God and you're just able to be happy while you wait. Another one of my favorite verses from the Bible is in Psalm 40. What's it say? What's it say, Mrs. Fox? It says, I waited patiently for the Lord and he heard me. He heard my cry for help. So God wants us to wait patiently for him to help us but we need to know he always hears. And when we pray according to his will, which it is his will for us to be patient, he will help us every time. He turns to us and he answers because he loves us so much. Just like I love you, Burley. Oh, and I love you, Mrs. Fox, and I love all of you. 
Now, I'm going to end our time with a song. Burley and I have been practicing, and I want you to sing loud, Burley, because you know I'm not the best singer. So here we go. Have patience, have patience, don't be in such a hurry. Remember, oops, I forgot the words, Mrs. Fox. I know, well, I'll help you, let me hit. Okay, let's start again. Have patience, have patience, don't be in such a hurry. When you get impatient, you only start to worry. Remember, remember that God is patient too. And think of all the times when others had to wait on you. He did it! Good job, Burley! Yes, it's important to remember, people wait on you all the time. I know, your mommies and daddies wait on you to get up in the morning, to come to the table to eat on time, to put your shoes on, to get in your car seat, or to buckle up. People are waiting on you, and God is patient with you, so you should be patient with them. Isn't that right, Burley? Yes, it is, Mrs. Fox, and I'm going to be patient waiting on my toy. Good job, Burley. I love all you. I hope that you will be patient, and when I see you next time, you can tell me how you waited with a happy heart. Let's pray. Dear God, you're so good to us. You're so patient with us. You wait on us to obey you. You wait on us to turn to you and ask for help. And you give us so much. Please give us your patience during this trying time and help us wait with a happy heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's been fun, and I hope I get to see you again soon. I love you so much. Bye-bye.